we are making a DIY headboard. And it's all on the ground. So. Yeah, she's pulling on my dog. Today is May 10th and it is currently 12 10 p.m. We are on our way to Home Depot to get some wood because we are making a DIY headboard. Mine is for a twin XL so I have like all the measurements for my bed but I mean you can use this for any size bed, full, queen, I don't know, anything else. I've been wanting to make a headboard for a really long time, like the wood palette ones, like I think they're so pretty. And I don't want like the dark brown stain. I'm gonna try to go for like a gray, like distressed looking one. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And hopefully they have the stain color that I want because I looked in Walmart the other day and all they had was like dark browns and I just don't really want a dark brown. It's not like the vibe I'm going for in my room. My room colors are actually gray, blush pink, white, and gold, and stuff like that, just like neutrals, you know? I'm a very visual person, so I thought I would help you guys out by drawing a picture of this wood palette for you guys in the dimensions. So first, I'm going to start with the wood palette itself. So just imagine this right here is a square. This is going to be 42 inches at the top. And this is gonna be 42 inches right here. And you get that, okay. So then we have our back beams in the back. And this will just help me draw kind of a straighter line. That helps a lot. <laughs> Should have probably done that before. And we're gonna have two of those. I mean, you could do three if you really wanted to, you know, stabilize it a little bit more. So the back beams that are going to be reaching the top all the way to the floor is 70 inches. So I actually went to the room I was going to be in and measured the bed. Um, I am 5'3", so if you do have like a longer torso when you sit up, or a, are a bit taller, you might want to increase the height of the whole headboard itself because when I sit up, I think I'm going to reach about here. So that's like perfect because I don't want my head like on the wall. I want it to be like on the headboard when I'm sitting up, if that makes sense. And another quick thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that we actually had seven wood pieces going down and each of these wood pieces were six inches. To make 42 so that actually worked out really well so i hope this visual helped you guys out a little bit and now let's get on to the fun part you like these are these wide enough for you to buy the ones yeah i think that's fine huh? yeah how Where much you, is it you already just stressed how much is there anything cheaper How much is this? We got 14 pieces in total because we wanted to do seven on each headboard down. Shout out to Ryan for helping me build my board. Got the, what is it called? The backing? Yeah, what? The beam for the back. The beam for the back. And we're gonna go to aisle five to pick out some wood stain. We got four beams in total, so two for each. And these boards were just a little bit thicker than the other ones. We are looking at wood stains right now. I have my eye on this one right here. That's like the color I want and I want to make it like a little bit distressed. But this is like, you know, gray. I don't, I don't really want gray, but I definitely don't want like brown. This? But that's like so gray. Even this is pretty. Like these. Carbon gray. What do you think? This one? That's actually really pretty. I can't pull it out. Oh, this one? Carbon gray or classic gray? I feel like. 
No, no. Okay. Yeah, I wanted just like a muted brown. Like a brown that I could turn like distressed and gray. But, I don't know, I think this is cute. This gives it a little bit more color. The other one's just kind of washed out, you know? It's like you didn't even paint it. Good? All right. Should we do it? So we are gonna get this. So it like waterproofs it and it's kind of like it's like a tough finish on it so it won't get ruined. So the total for all of this was $50 and we're making two headboards, one for me and one for my roommate. So $25 each for a headboard is not so shabby. Time to load it up. So we got the wood, we're gonna head back to his house. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Put it behind your ear. Am I pressuring you? Yeah, I'm gonna press him to do it. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Perfect. And you can always check it by bringing that down and yeah, then see the bank. Fall right on. Just bisect the mark. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pushed that red thing in. Simple, simple, simple. So we're cutting the wood into 42 inch pieces. We have this cool sar, very nice that we could use um, Ryan's grandpa's shed so we didn't have to buy anything extra because then that would have cost us like, I don't even know how much more. So Ryan's measuring the back beams to 70 inches. So again, the other wood pieces were 42 and then this back beam is 70. Spread these to the width of this. And side with side, do you want more? I think this has more. You like that? Okay. And you choose, you want this on the left side, right side? Damn, all these decisions. So you're gonna line these up at the top. Make sure it's flush on both sides. What's flush mean for all those non-carpenters out there? There's no like lip or anything, it's just one straight line. Okay. And you screw. And what size screw are we using? Maybe these are one and a half inch. Like separate them like this, mm -hmm. with the middle of this board. Okay. So. so that'll hold that one down for right now. And then do the opposite of the side that you did up there. So put this one in the bottom. Either doing touching like this, so there's no, there's a little bit of space, but there's no like gap, or do a little bit of like opening like that. Mm -hmm. So it looks more like a palette, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going with the like a little bit open, just like a teeny, teeny bit. Yeah, yeah that looks yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe it'll look a more rustic feel where it's not like everything's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. When you're staining the wood, go with the grains. So like, the grain of the wood runs this way on most wood. Some of these, uh, yeah, the fish are the all are. Then here, it doesn't matter what you do to it, you can go up and down, whatever. This is my time to shine. I've been feeling so helpless. And you can start with light, add more if you want to make okay. it darker. <laughs> Now, what I want to do is make it a little bit more distressed, so I'm going to take some white paint and just like flick it on the board. What do you think? Looks good. Does it look cool like that or no? Stay 
this is in polyurethane finish. It uh, ultra fast dry time, fingerprint resistant, superior durability. And it's all on the ground, so. Yeah, I spilled it on my dog. All over her back. And me. Just wanna rub it on. Just like you're staying. And it mats it. So it's being glossy. See the difference between there and there? Mm hmm. And this is the finished headboard. So I hope this video helped you learn how to make one or gave you inspiration to make one because I think this will add so much to my dorm. And I can't wait to see everything together.